Hello everybody, Starman here, and welcome back to Let's Play Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Well, we're here at Prune Headquarters. We've just been given a voucher to get ourselves a Pi phone. I have a voucher for one of those things. Uh, let me see it. Oh, yeah? Looks good. Give him one. Here. A brand new Pi phone. Thanks. Even if I did hear that a new model is going to be released very soon. <laughs> so, how do I turn it on? I'll hold the button down. Okay. <laughs> welcome to your new Pi phone. Thank you for choosing a prune product. You're welcome, baby. So, uh... How are things? Please state your name. Larry Laffer. Registering Larry Laffer. Setup complete. Is there a woman inside this thing too? Uh oh, there's a, a lot of women in there if you want. Oh. <laughs> wow, this thing must have kilobytes of memory. What do I need one for? For everything. <laughs> what do you mean for everything? Uh, you really were born yesterday, weren't you? Uh, well, okay. Uh, then show me how to work this thing. What? You don't know? No. <laughs> sure, Larry. We'll be glad to help you. <laughs> <laughs> You've already turned it on and created your user account. So swipe across it. I don't have a cleaning rag with me. <laughs> no, swipe across the display with your finger. Can you play video games on this thing too? Only if you want to buy loot boxes. What? I'll explain if you pay me $800. Never! Then that's not for you. Huh. <laughs> How does a woman inside work? <laughs> you have to call her. Shrimp. Not like that. You have to say, Hello, Pi. Hello, Pi. Yes, Larry? Strip? No, Larry. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are all those pretty little pictures for? Those are apps. What do you mean, apps? Apps. Programs. Oh, I see. And how do I type something into them? You have to call up the keyboard. But this thing doesn't have one. It will appear on the screen. Huh. That's way too small. Ten minutes later... I think I've got it now. I doubt it. <laughs> okay. One more important thing. Faith said that I should collect points in something called timber. Ever hear of it? If you want to get anywhere on timber, you'll need a damn good profile. A good thing we know something about that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> We can help you set up a profile that really gets the chicks. Great! Uh, but we don't do this for just anyone, so we need you to prove that you're a real player. Right. Where's a dark alley? <laughs> Ew, no, not that kind of thing. I'd like some soft toilet paper. They only buy the cheapest here at Prune, and it scratches like hell. And I have neurodermatitis and acne vulgaris on, uh, you know? And what do you want? <laughs> anyway, what? Some underwear. Aren't you wearing any? From a girl, but used. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, hey, it's not what you think. It's not for me or anything like that. But if you can get those, you'll know you're a real player. <laughs> so, you want toilet paper, but it has to be soft. A pair of panties, but 
They have to be used. No problem. Perfectly normal things you can get from any vending machine. And we can now hit the U button to call ourselves an Unter at certain points. And we now have a slightly fancier interface for our inventory and everything else. And we also have an Instacrap account, which will show us pictures of our exploits as the game continues. Although, curiously, we somehow have this picture, even though that's on Becky's account and not ours. <laughs> Well, I assume it's on Becky's account, but she wasn't there either, so... Who took the picture? I want answers! Okay, so our only locations right now, although we can see quite a few places on the map that haven't lit up yet. An Unta can only be called from the street. Well then, why do you let me open it up here? What's up, Aaron? The Wi-Fi's gone all wonky again. Up, down, up, down. I can't work like this. I've notified the technician. And when is the technician coming? Hmm, can't be much longer. Tell him to get a move on. I announced a show for today. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Who was that scantily clad redhead? Who? Erin? Oh, she rents the room upstairs. And what does she do up there? I don't really know, and it's none of my business. Something with that internet. What's a Wi-Fi? The wireless internet. Oh, I should never have let them talk me into that special edition router. It was advertised as a Wi-Fi router with integrated home entertainment system. But the music is scratchy, and the connection is pretty erratic. Is the internet something like the ARPANET? Hmm, I'm just gonna say yes. Ha! Huh. The commies will never catch up if we already have a better network than they do. I'm just gonna say yes again. Yeah. How come Aaron didn't have much on? No one wears a lot of clothes on the internet. At least, that's what I've heard. Oh, I should get myself an internet, too. You already have one. Your smartphone. Hey, don't encourage him. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Let's talk about something else. What else you got? How's the barbarian brew doing? Some people complained about bellyache. What? Really? And now the pipes are broken, too. Ah, I'm kind of an expert when it comes to using my tool. That'd be great. Here's the key to the back room. Uh, but be quiet. Erin lives upstairs. She don't want to be disturbed. Don't worry. I can use my tool quietly, too. Uh, you need to fire up the brewing vat, the, the, the brew kettle, again. Pull the lever down. Then turn the valve and push the lever up again. But you'll have to fix the pipe first. Something has eaten its way through. Huh. I wonder what. Do you have a room available? You know, for when the ladies come to call. Yeah, the room upstairs. But Erin's using it right now. She only wanted to rent it for a while. But now, she's been here for some time. So she moves out? I could move in? If you can pay. Maybe I can work off the rent. If by that you mean you're going to help me fix the brewery, then we have a deal. Okay, so I can get myself a room, but I have to get Aaron to move out first. And I have to fix Lucky's Brewery, or Lefty's Brewery. See you brewery. later, Lefty. 
And this seems like a good time to try and save the game. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one because... Well, this game is not quite as bad about letting you die in random ways as the original Leisure Suit Larry. There are still some ways you can do it. And I'm going to demonstrate one of them right here because now that Becky's moved... You can see that we've got a jukebox plug here. This table has more breaks in it than my ego during high school. Hey, Larry, that's what you get for messing around somewhere unprotected. Hopefully you've learned that you ought to slip something over before you start to feel away in unknown places. It's not like you deserve a second chance for something that's stupid, but for once we don't want to be that way about it. And a bit of a shout out to the original Leisure Suit Larry here. Because uh, in that one, if you died, you would get a new Larry from a conveyor belt under the street. So now you know what that whole area we started out in was. Which brings up the interesting question, has Larry been getting repeatedly cloned? And if so, by whom? And why? Okay, so we can't actually do anything with the plug there until we have some way of insulating it. Look how tight! The key to the back room at Lefty's. Also broken off. Are the keys here made out of wax or what? So yeah, we can see there's quite a lot of... Lefty uses that to brew his barbarian brew. This is where the ingredients for the barbarian brew are centrifuge, so they're edible, more or less. Of course, we have laundry machine here. Softens any material or your money back. Hmm. Wonder what possible use we could get out of that. A washing machine that needs to be washed. This is where. That's the broken pipe I'm supposed to fix. Lefty uses that to. Lefty said the pipe has to be repaired first. Okay, we, we actually are going to be held to that. Lefty's clean laundry. At least he changes his clothes every now and again. Since when does Lefty wear? Oh, they must belong to this Aaron. Surely no one will notice if I take them. Uh, surely. Fresh and fragrant. Probably won't fit me. I can't open it while the wash cycle's still running. Okay, just to make sure. Yeah, nothing else to mess with at the moment. Although we could go up and bother Aaron, but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. So we have a pair of underwear, but it's not quite used. <coughs> that sounds bad. Everything okay? Hey, people! How are you? Becky? Is that you? I'm not doing so mega hot. More like kind of down. Because the people here are partying so hard, it's killing me. <laughs> but I'll be good to go again in a minute. And then it's back out to the other party peoples. So if you want to stay tuned to what the nightlife here in the hottest location of New Lost Wages has going on, then click on subscribe below and write in the comments where you're partying hard today. <coughs> yep, that's 
Coach Becky. Was it you? Did you put something in my drink? Of course not. I don't believe it. <coughs> Is that a yes? OMG! This is so disgusting! I guess I didn't record oh, that line in the name of good taste. Yeah, baby! Can you hand me the toilet paper? Forget it! I need it all myself! But this stays between us. I could use some panties. Why do you... I don't want to talk about it! I'll see what I can find. Why does everyone want me to get them panties? Uh, are you almost done? I really need to pee. Go away! This is going to take a while. We'll I'll talk later. Not a chance. All right. Oh, thanks. Good thing. Uh, was there something else? Ah, uh, the toilet paper, please? Here. Oh, that's just an empty roll. I used it all. And will you please get out of here? I want to get changed. You got an empty toilet roll there, Larry? Is it all used up again? Yep. Strange. These days it's always gone in no time at all. It's a secret we'll never unravel. Uh, can you do me a favor and put up another roll of toilet paper? Uh, we just got a new shipment. You'll find everything in the back room. Hmm. Well, that's convenient. I'm done with that for now. Uh, Larry, you can forget the toilet paper now. The toilet didn't survive. It's been through a lot over the years, but that was just too much. That Becky disappeared too. She said to tell you she never wants to see you again. Oh well. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well. And nothing new here. See you later, Lefty. Okay, so I now have scratchy toilet paper. Ah, feels like sandpaper. That's not touching my delicate butt. And a toilet paper roll. You can use them to make funny things. You really can. It's like I'm not even a children's librarian, and I've learned way more craft items involving toilet paper rolls than I care to think about. All right, so we got the soften anything, scratchy toilet paper. Hmm. Perfect. I call it the butt buffer. This has to be the softest and smoothest toilet paper ever. All right, one for two. And as for the other item, you can use that to seal the garbage bag. Hmm. Did Becky, maybe? Yes! She threw her panties in there! Well, we'll still put it in our coat, but we're going to keep it in the bag. And uh, it will not let us examine what remains of the toilet. Another way to dispose of underwear according to regulations. All right, so. Definitely used. Uh, didn't you say you wanted them to prove that I was a real player? 
Uh, uh, yeah, of course. I I'm only spelling it to be, um, absolutely sure. Oh, and the toilet paper is so soft. Feel it. Awesome. Oh, can I have some of that too? No. Never. You guys are gonna help me with this timber thing. Of course. Uh, we'll give you all the hottest tips, and you'll get more tail than you can tap in a lifetime. Just leave a few for us, too. <laughs> yeah, just uh, give me your Pi phone. Here. You change one single thing in my settings, and I will hack your own Pi phone and publish your browser history. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, so in order for me to set up the perfect profile for you, I need you to answer a few questions. Sure. N name? Larry Laffer. Nickname? I'm in a Monty Python mood. I'm gonna go with Biggif Dickif. Biggest Dickus? <laughs> That's what they called me in elementary school. Profession? Cunning linguist, programmer, game programmer, boat swing programmer, guy who understands women. Well, actually, in the original games, Larry was a game programmer, so, uh... Game programmer. I'll just enter IT specialist. Chicks love that. Yeah, that's why they're always after us, too. Uh, what's your motto? Uh, your tagline? Hi, it's me. Come here often. I don't have any STDs. Are you all natural? I have the key to your heart and for your vagina. I have the key to your heart and for your vagina. Uh, that suits you. Uh, eight? Let's do the math. Gotta be 69. Adult. Adult in most states. You're as young as you feel. Can I round off? Can I round off? Let's stay realistic. Uh, let's say 39. Uh, uh, favorite animal? Eel, rhinoceros, beaver, pussy, monchichi. Pussy? Whoa. My astrologist said that's my power animal. Uh, your personal gender assignment? Huh? Man. Usually man. I'm not looking at my pants now. It's complicated. Enter man? But with the quotation marks. Uh, sexual orientation? Yes, please. If you have a heartbeat, I'm not choosy. Whichever hand is free, anything except on Chi Chi's. Whichever hand is free. Um, uh, okay. I'll enter bisexual. Uh, that will give you the most options on timber. Well, you guys are the pros. Favorite position? Missionary, cowboy, the ones the Pope doesn't like, anything where you're not chained up, 69 like my age, hanging from a tree, legs crossed, legs and straight backed, doesn't matter long as it's sex, I'm not the type for a permanent position. Oh, I'm not the type for a permanent position. <laughs> Let's just say screenicorn, and that's in right now. Okay, oh. now for the profile picture, show me your good side. Perfect. If that's not an impressive profile, I don't know what is. So what do I do with this timber? Well, hey, if someone matches your profile, that person will be displayed as a suggested contact. And then, you can swipe the pictures to the left if you don't like them. Or to the right if you like them. Hey, if a person likes you, they will be shown under matches. And then, your matches are shown on the under map. Uh, even the ones you swiped away at first. And then you get points? I need 90 to get Faith to go out with me. Uh, yeah, well, good luck with that. Yeah, Prune has a complicated and top-secret algorithm built into Timber that determines your score. Uh, it evaluates the number of contacts, uh, the quality of your contacts, the frequency and the quality of the sex. Uh, in addition, Timber members all rate each other. A uh, good date scores more points. <sighs> the app evaluates the frequency and quality of my sex? Wow. How does it do that? We've been asking ourselves the same thing for a while now. Let me get this straight. I need to have sex with as many women as possible to finally get my dream girl faith? Well, yeah. 
That's one way of putting it. Wow! The 21st century is great! Hey, Larry. Yes, babe? I have new suggestions for you on Timber. Oh! The profile's working! The ladies love me. As was to be expected. Uh. Ladies, get ready! Here comes... Larry Laffer! Pot, what's my current score? Five. <laughs> it's a start. Only 85 points left, babe. Not long until our date. Talk about a nut job. Okay, so now we have a separate button for accessing Tinder. And, uh, yeah, not the most flattering picture. Okay, we can actually start swinging through these. So let's see, Maxine Payne. Ah, Pumpkin Girl, of course, woke up like this. I need a dick in me, Thirsty Girl. Subtlety is not my middle name. Don't worry, the gal in the picture is just my ex. There's Finley. B Fuse. I already had orgasms when you were little. Aaron Brooks bookends with happy ends. Is reading maybe Dick. Le Metallica. And yes, she's about to bite a bat. How's this thing work? I want to have a joint list in old records. Dick Ryder, just a small boy in a big city. And you do get more options as the game goes on. I think we did just get everybody who we can get starting out. Whoop. You have some new matches on Timber, Larry. And bingo! Looks like Dick, Lemma, and Aaron are all interested in meeting me as well. I think we'll go ahead and start with Aaron, and if we check our map, we'll see that we've now got a new location. The Strip, and it looks like Lemma and Dick are there, and Aaron is, of course, at Lefties. I think we'll go ahead and start with Aaron, but we will go ahead and pick up with her next time. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this so far. And uh, we'll see you all next time.